Fact, Delhi Law Minister Somnath Bharti seems unable to get himself out of the web of controversies that continue to plague him and his party is now clearly under the scanner. In a fresh case, a cyber expert has accused Somnath Bharti of heading a spam site. But under fire minister has denied all charges against him, claiming it to be a conspiracy to malign his image. Site.us. <laughs> Delhi's law minister laughing away questions over his alleged connection to spamming websites. But the charges against Somnath Bharti quite serious, as it refers to his association with top sites. Considered one of the world's top 100 spammers in early 2000, with Bharti himself occupying a very high position in that dubious list. You have been accused of running companies that have sent spam messages. It's all wrong. Huh? Can you tell us why you associated with a top side? It's all wrong, sir. It's companies? all wrong. Please. So, but uh, there have been accusations. That it's all wrong, sir. So, can you please tell us it's all which wrong. companies have you been it's it's all associated wrong. with? It's all wrong. Why are such reports coming out now, Mr. Vanti? Can you tell us? Can you please tell us specifically? It's all wrong. The allegations have been made by Conrad Longmore, a former Open Directory editor, a cyber expert who has been at the forefront of the investigation into spam websites for the last decade. This is so unlike in the US, where the US has actually come up with a unique uh, legislation known as the Can Spam Act, which is directly targeted against spammers. Any spam in India, it's not a legal wrong, so you really can't uh, uh, haul him to court, except the only question is that it's possibly unethical and it's not in the correct taste. Records made public by Conrad Longmore makes clear references to Somnath Bharti, who was allegedly listed as the CEO of the firm. Absolutely wrong. Absolutely pathetic and wrong. Absolutely nothing. It, it, this, is, this, is, this is a thing orchestrated by BJP. Everything is wrong. They, they are trying to defame me and I'm going to take him to the court. But the controversial minister may not be able to wash away the allegations as the paper trail leads to Magden Solutions, an IT firm mentioned by Bharti in his election affidavit. After the amendments in 2008, this uh, particular legislation got a new provision, which was Section 66A. Now, in case, after these new amendments have come into force, you get to know the real identity of the spammer. After 2009, you can potentially lodge a criminal complaint under Section 66A. Somrath Bharti's actions as a law minister have put him and his party in a corner. But as these allegations from his past crops up, the question is, will it be looked into by the Ahmadmi party or will this too be brushed aside? Bureau Report, Times Now.